Have you ever walked through a forest and just felt a sense of quiet? Well, it turns out it's not quiet at all. Right under your feet, there's a whole world of conversation happening, a hidden communication network that lets trees and plants actually talk to each other. And today, we're going to dig into exactly how they do it. And no, this is not science fiction. This is real. Beneath that soil, there's a vast, intricate, and very real hidden messaging network. It links the entire ecosystem together in ways we're only just starting to wrap our heads around. You know, this incredible system even has a nickname that just perfectly nails it, the Wood Wide Web. It's pretty much the forest's own biological internet, a living, breathing network that connects pretty much everything. All right, so let's start by unpacking what this hidden network really is, and more importantly, who's actually running the show down there. Yeah, you heard that right, fungi. This isn't just a metaphor. We're talking about a physical network of these tiny, microscopic fungal threads that weave through the soil, connecting the roots of individual trees and plants, sometimes for miles. They are the architects and the operators of this whole thing. So who are these master architects? It's time to meet the fungi responsible for this incredible feat of natural engineering. Okay, the scientific name for these crucial partners is mycorrhizal fungi. I know, it's a bit of a mouthful, but the role they play is actually elegantly simple and absolutely vital for a forest's survival. So what is mycorrhiza? Well, the word itself gives us a huge clue. It literally means fungus root. It describes what's called a symbiotic association, which is just a fancy way of saying it's a partnership where both the fungus and the plant get something great out of the deal. It's a total win-win. But how does this partnership actually play out? Well, at its heart, it's all about a fair trade, a kind of underground stock exchange for survival. See, this is not a one-way street at all. Both the plants and the fungi are giving something the other desperately needs to survive. They've formed this ancient underground marketplace for essential goods. And here's how it works. It's brilliant. First, those fine fungal threads connect directly with the plant's roots. Then the plant, which is amazing at making food from sunlight, trades its extra energy-rich sugars. In return, the fungi, who are master miners of the soil, go out and find hard-to-get nutrients like phosphorus and nitrogen, plus water, and deliver them right to the plant's doorstep. The fungus basically becomes a massive extension of the tree's own root system. But this is where it gets really mind-blowing. This network is for more than just trading resources. It's an information superhighway, letting trees send out warnings and even support each other in times of need. So picture this. A single tree in the forest is getting swarmed by bugs. It's under serious stress and its survival is on the line. But here's the thing, it's not alone, it's connected. Before it gets overwhelmed, the tree sends out very specific chemical signals into that fungal network. Think of them like distress calls or warning flares sent out through the underground web. And get this, nearby trees, even trees of a totally different species, they pick up on these signals. They get the message loud and clear. Danger is coming. In response, they start ramping up their own chemical defenses to get ready for the attack. It allows for this incredible community-wide defense. So what this really means is that this underground network transforms a simple collection of individual trees into a true community. They can share food with struggling neighbors, send those warnings about pests, and even pass on a final inheritance of nutrients from a dying tree to its family. All this cooperation makes the entire forest stronger and way more resilient. Now this amazing natural system isn't just some fun fact about forests, it actually has real relevance in our own world too. That's right, you can even apply this knowledge at home. By making sure you have healthy soil that's rich with these kinds of fungi, gardeners can help their own plants form these powerful partnerships, and that leads to stronger, healthier plants. I just love this quote because it so perfectly captures what's happening. It's not loud. It's a quiet, constant conversation, a whisper of chemicals and nutrients passing between all these different living things, happening all the time, right under our feet. You know, when you really think about it, this completely reframes our whole understanding of the natural world. It shows us that complex ideas like cooperation and communication, they aren't just for animals. Plants are in on it too, sharing wisdom and support in ways we're just now beginning to appreciate. And that leaves us with a pretty fascinating thought, doesn't it? If this complex social network exists right under our noses, what other secret conversations are shaping the world all around us, just waiting for us to finally tune in and listen? It's a powerful reminder that there is always more to discover.